Corona time. It's Corona time. Hey, it's Corona time right now. It's Corona time. It's Corona time. Hey, it's Corona time right now. It's Corona time. It's Corona time. Hey, it's Corona time right now. Hi there. Um, my name is Adelaide, the cat, the 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 FAFSA cat, and I have a song for all the seniors. So, um, uh, if you're a senior or if you know a senior, uh, listen up. <laughs> If you want some free money for college study If you don't want tuition cost to be your new enemy Do the FAFSA, do the FAFSA Ask Miss G for some help with the FAFSA Do the FAFSA, do the FAFSA Talk to, to Miss G. She's pretty cool. Uh, also, if you're gonna go to a, like a, a tech school like M Tech, a, a lot of them take a lot of those programs take FAFSA too. So, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Talk to Miss G. Here's her email. Hey Payson, Dax and Kelmacher here, another top 10 movies to watch during quarantine. Hulu edition. Oh, what am I, what am I doing? Number one is Parasite. Is it okay we do? This is one of the best movies I have ever seen in my life. The plot of this South Korean thriller is a little hard to describe but it's exciting, it's funny, it's horrifying, and it's just a really, really good time. This movie is so good that originally this video was supposed to be on Amazon Prime movies, but then I found out this was on Hulu and rewrote the entire thing. So just, just watch it, please. I can't, I can't let all this work go in vain. Just watch it. Next up is The Hunt for the Wilter People. This quirky New Zealand comedy follows the misadventures of a hip-hop obsessed youth and his beleaguered grandfather as they go on the run from the government and try to survive in the wilderness for a complicated series of reasons. It's way funnier than it actually sounds. It's a blast, it's hilarious, with a quick wit and a bigger heart, and it was directed by the guy who did Thor Ragnarok, so if that's, you know, a good sign, then go watch it. If it's not, then don't pay attention to that. Go watch the movie anyway. Just listen to me. Just listen to me. Ricky Baker, now you are 13 years old. You are a teenager and you're as good as gold. Entry number three is Mission Impossible Fallout. The Mission Impossible franchise has been delivering some of the best action set pieces in Hollywood history for years, and somehow Fallout's the best one yet. Every set piece will leave you on the edge of your seat while begging for more while also challenging your belief that Tom Cruise is a mortal being like the rest of us. The plot is the usual kind of spy nonsense, but that doesn't matter when the action is this good. And the movie holds the title for cinema's greatest helicopter chase scene. What else do you need? For a fourth entry, I wanted to pick something a bit more relatable for all my fellow teens out there. So I picked Heathers. I love my dead gay son. Heathers is the funniest, and darkest teenage-centered movie of the 80s, and perhaps of all time. It follows the adventures of a teenage girl named Veronica, played by Winona Ryder, as she struggles to survive in high school with popularity, mean friends, and a slightly murderous boyfriend. It's kind of like Mean Girls, but with a little bit more death. My next pick is... Annihilation. 
Annihilation follows a group of scientists as they enter and investigate a strange alien dome that transforms everything inside of it. This is a thought-provoking and strange movie with trippy visuals and an engaging storyline that will leave you baking for more while simultaneously being confused and terrified. Natalie Portman leads an all-star cast that all prove for great performances. And I don't know if you can tell this, but I love this movie. I love it so much, I have a picture of it hanging over me while I sleep at night. Please watch it so I can talk to you about what the heck happened in the end of this movie. Are you getting a little lonely in quarantine? Are you uh, microwaving bags of soup to fall asleep with while you pretend it's another person lying there in bed with you? Well. Our number six entry is going to make that so much worse. Say Anything, otherwise known as the movie with the guy who stands outside the girl's window with a boombox, is a classic 80s teen romance about first love and discovering what it is you want to do with your life. The plot is the plot, it's not important in these kinds of movies. What matters is the electric chemistry between the two cast members as they discover who they are and what they mean to each other. So, if you really just want to cry and forget for a second that you cannot see anybody for six years, then you can do no better than say anything. We're going a little bit more uh, family-friendly for our seventh entry with The Road to El Dorado. This underrated gem follows two charismatic, if not intelligent, adventurers as they go on a journey to find the fabled city of gold and what happens when they get there. The whole thing plays out a lot like an animated movie of Indiana Jones, which, if you're anything like me, is an incredible thing to hear. It's a good time, it's fun for the whole family, and it has some incredible action, so there's really a lot of worse choices you could be doing if you're looking for some quarantine entertainment that you can watch while the parents are in the room. Like Stranger Things? I know the answer is it's, it's yes. Well, this is the original Stranger Things. This 80s sci-fi throwback follows a bunch of tenacious kids who, while making a home movie, discover a terrible government secret and have to race to save their town. Party tea, part team kings it, and all fun, this movie is a blast and appropriate for the whole family, so get them all together! Have a nice night! Nazis and zombies, two of history's greatest monsters, and some of the greatest things to watch getting blown up on screen. Which is why I highly recommend my number 10 pick, Overlord. Overlord follows a group of soldiers going behind enemy lines in World War II and discovering a terrible Nazi experiment. You guessed it, Nazi zombies. With a winning mix of B-horror and A-plus action scenes, this movie is a tense, yet just balls-to-the-wall action-adventure movie, and it is so fun. I, I love this movie so much. And if you're looking for something with a little bit more gore and a little bit more horror with plenty of action, then this movie is for you. That's all for now, Payson. If you're unlucky, I'll see you next time.
Okay? Yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> So this is retrieving the bike 101, so I don't really want to get in the water very bad because it's cold. So Kaiser, you jump in first. Go get him, Mitch. Mitch, we got it. I can't go underneath. I got it. Oh, yes! Go, go, go. Please don't tell my dad about Big Red. He'll spank me, and I don't want to get spanked again. Can't stop, you know we'll never 